Hey guys, my name is Robert here bringing you another video. Today we are going to be doing the Act 3 and 4 review for the Simpsons Tapped Out Black History Month event. So, um, I should say Black History event. It's actually technically not the Black History Month event because it actually goes over uh, what is Black History Month. But anyway, um, I digress. Uh, so yeah, um, of course we got two more acts. We got Act Three and Act Four that dropped uh, since I did my my Act One and Act Two review. Uh, so we'll go through them. We'll go through uh, Act Three first, and then we'll talk about the premium item, and then we'll go through Act Four and talk about that premium item. And at the end of the video, we'll tr we'll kind of evaluate and and discuss which is the best. Well, I will discuss to myself which is the best um, act out of the two. So yeah. So, Act 3. So, Act 3 was titled In the Lukewarm of the Twilight. Uh, so, this gave us, of course, uh, you get five prizes in total. So, it starts off with the crowd of bullies. Now, uh, right off the bat, I'm, I'm like a... In terms of crowds, it's really mixed for me, these crowd decorations. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Like, I like the Flanders Family Reunion one. That one was good. It was a good one, because it was a bunch of background characters, and we really didn't need them as characters. Whereas last act, when we got the crowd of presidential kids, that annoyed me, because Janie's a part of that crowd, and it's just kind of a pisses me off that she's now in the game twice. Uh, with this crowd of bullies, I mean, I'm not as mad as I am with the crowd of presidential kids but this one just isn't that special it's it's kind of generic i'm getting a little sick of the crowds to be honest with you um like i said there are some good ones occasionally but this one is just just not one for me then we get the bully bus uh which actually has bullies on top of it so i don't understand why we got the crowd of bullies as well uh, in terms of the bullies but in terms of the bully bus i mean it's an okay decoration it's not great it's not terrible it's just kind of meh uh it's again Kind of a kind of a mixed decoration for my liking, uh, but I will say it's better than the crowd of bullies. Um, then the third prize is the Cretaceous Park, and I've got to say, although I wish it was a tad bigger, I quite like this building. I think it's probably one of the I, maybe the best building we got in the game. Um, I would be tempted to put the Canadian border, or the actually no, I probably put the mega church above this, but um, it is a close second um, with the Canadian border probably coming in third uh, yeah it's a really cool building i like it um although i will say it's uh tie in in the quest line is very loose um this is what kind of annoys me about some quest lines is some of them just feel really forced like they really want to put this as a prize so they're just kind of um tying together whatever they can with the storyline uh, and it does annoy me. It kind of annoys me when, you know, something isn't in the episode that the rest of the content comes from. And they just kind of throw in a, uh, throw in a prize. Although I like the prize, I still, you know, I can't give it props for its place in the quest line. It just felt kind of forced. Um, but yeah, and then we have the fourth prize, which is the token. I am not going to get into that discussion. And then the final prize is, of course, Bully Boss. Uh, so he is the boss of the bullies. Um... I think he was an okay character, but nothing great. Uh, I wouldn't say he was bad, but he just wasn't anything too special at all. Um, but I liked his inclusion. I mean, obviously, it makes sense that he's the final prize in this kind of bully act, if you will. Uh, but it doesn't annoy me because there are like I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think of, like what other characters they could have given us. I mean, fair enough. Like, yeah, his inclusion's fine. Uh, so that is Act 3 in terms of the um, non-premium stuff. So we'll just quickly talk about the premium item. So of course this was the Guild's deal. So we got the Patriarch with the Mega Church. Now I like both of them. Although yes, the Guild's price is a little pricey. Um, it is this kind of thing, really weird thing. Because Guild's deal is meant to be, it used to be like, you know, you get you get a deal. <laughs> but these, these are just not turned into um, deals at all. Although it is 150 donuts. Um... Oh, wow, yes, 150 donuts. Oh, I thought it was more than that. I am mistaken. I thought it was 200 donuts. Sorry. Apparently, according to the wiki, it was 150. Um, I guess it was. Let me just double check. That's weird. I thought it was more than that. Um, but whatever. Um, uh, yeah, I like I like this one. I think it's a cool building character combo. The building is really cool. I, I think it looks really nice. It's probably one of the better buildings we got this year. If not the best building we got this year, probably, so far. But it's not saying much. We've only got two updates. Uh, the Patriarch is a cool character as well. I liked his quest line. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, a little bit on the nose, but 
still it was okay. Um, yeah, I think it was a nice inclusion. So anyway, we'll go to Act 4. So, Act 4 is of course titled From the Mouth of Apes. Now, I was a little skeptical of who was going to lead this um, act, but it's actually Abe, and I think it was done very well. So basically, Abe is narrating the story of Virgil and Mabel Simpson, and I thought it was it was executed quite well because you got you got to think yes Abe is not a um a black character as such but he is um hang on let me feel this out uh four point uh no five point two percent uh african uh i should say i don't know which african i'm gonna say west african um there is a video coming out soon about bart's dna but um <laughs> it's a little teaser for you but yeah uh, Roughly, Abe is like 5%. Oh, I know that's not massive, but I mean, some think Abe is a little bit African. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it makes sense. And plus, this is his um, grandfather. Great something, grandfather. Although, I will say, the Simpsons messed it up. Uh, they basically say that uh, um, Zia is... Whatever they put is like great, great, whatever. They missed out one great in the quest line, and that really annoyed me because I've been doing these like videos, these family tree videos, and I've actually recently done a um, DNA uh, thing for the Simpson kids DNA, and I, I will eventually get into that video. Um, it's a lengthy video; it took me a while. Uh, I just want to kind of present it properly. I did do a take, but it didn't turn out very well, and I kind of want to do a retake of it. But basically, I've kind of tried to calculate the Simpsons DNA. And whilst doing that, obviously you have to go through all the greats. And so Zia, Zia's great-grandfather would be Abe. So her great-great-grandfather would be um, Orville. Her great-great-great-grandfather would be Old Tut. And her great-great-great-great-grandfather, if I've done that right, would be Abraham Simpson I. Therefore, in the quest line, they say that Virgil is her great times four grandfather, but it, that's not true. It's her great times five grandfather. Um, I know a little bit confusing there, but the the tapped out people got it wrong, and that kind of annoyed me. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I digress. I've talked too long, too long about this. The first prize, of course, was the traveling circus, and I really liked this one. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, overall, yeah, it's a good it's a good little decoration. Uh, the second prize, though, pissed me the hell off because we already have this in the game, the cremation bot. Um, I think it's called something different, but we have the exact same, pretty much verbatim, the exact same thing already in the game. So I do not understand why they put this in. Um, yeah, really weird. We've already got this. Uh, and then number four, uh, I, yeah, that really annoyed me. I don't, and it doesn't even make sense to why it's in the act. Uh, do you know what even annoys me even more? There's a perfect prize you could, we could get. The barn in the episode that Virgil is kept in. He's kept, like, he's a slave in the episode, right? So he's kept in this big barn. And in the episode, Eliza Simpson, who is um, Mabel's daughter and looks exactly like Lisa, she goes into the barn and frees Virgil. So that barn could have been a perfect prize in the, in the place. Or they could, it could have been the first prize and the traveling circus could have been the second. And Abe could have narrated, oh, okay, his origins were he lived in this barn, blah, 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 blah. Then we get the barn. Then we get the traveling circus. Then we get Mabel's wagon. But they didn't do that. And that kind of annoyed me because there's... And there was more things in that episode they definitely could have given us instead. Um, then we get Mabel's Wagon, which is fine. Um, it's nothing great, nothing terrible. It's just kind of fine. Although I would kind of have liked it if uh, Virgil actually had an animation where he sticks his head out. Or if Marge has an animation where she's like looking like she's riding the horse. Uh, then the fourth prize is the token. Yeah, whatever. And then the fifth prize is Virgil Simpson. By far the best character um, in this event. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident in saying that. Some of the other characters are cool. The Patriarch's cool. I think Mabel Simpson's quite cool too. But I think Virgil's definitely the standout character. And I liked his quest line. I thought it was really good. It was a nice kind of... Uh, and it ties really well into Mabel's quest line, which is the premium quest line. But it ties into that as well, which I think is always a plus. So yeah, Virgil Simpson's definitely my favourite character uh, of this event, I would say. <clears throat> but let's talk about um, Mabel Simpson. So yeah, we for the premium prize, we of course got Mabel Simpson with the Canadian border. Now, I like the Mabel Simpson character. I thought she was good. She was a good inclusion. Um, yes, you can make the argument she's not um, a black character. Of course she's not. But 
I think she makes sense for she makes sense to add because she's involved with that story. It, it, there's no other character that I can really think of who would have made sense as the premium character, and plus she's the premium character, so you're not taking away by making her the uh, act for prize. I think she made sense. Uh, maybe they could have switched it around, and Abraham Abraham the first could have been the premium prize. Sure, possibly, but yeah, I think she made perfect sense as the character, and I'm glad that we we got her in the game. Um, I do want to see Eliza eventually, and Hiram, and maybe uh, Mr. Burns' grandfather, um, who are also involved in this story, but uh, th that could be added in another update. I'm fine with them obviously doing this so far. Uh, yeah, I thought Mabel Simpson was a cool character. The Canadian border is a pretty cool building, although it should be a decoration, really. Um, I don't know what they. I don't know why, but they they seem to abandon the decorations that earn cash. There used to be decorations in the game that earn cash. There still is, obviously, uh, like the snake things that used to earn obviously event currency, and then once the event was over, they earned cash. Uh, I don't know why they just don't just add them in. They can do that. It's not a problem. It's just really weird how it's a building. It's just like a really weird category. Although it's not a massive deal, I'm fine with it overall. So yeah. That is it for the premium gameplay. Okay, so overall, I think it's pretty obvious out of all the acts, my favourite was the fourth. Although I don't think the fourth's perfect. Now, I really love the concept of a Black History Month, and I'm kind of a little bummed out of it. It, it was good for the most part, but um, it has to be said the prizes aren't great. They're not amazing. I think the structure, the story was all on point. And um, that's what the event really has going for it. And I think well, well it kind of <clears throat> makes the event stand out. It's got one of the best stories in years, for sure. Uh, it's got a nice structure, uh, but the prizes just are a bit crappy overall. And I think it really lets the event down. Uh, just from my little example there with the um, uh, Virgil Simpson act, th that could have been cool. We could have got the barn as a, as a building. I think the Travelling Circus could be a building instead of a decoration. I'm pretty sure it's a decoration. I'll just double check, but... Um, pretty sure it is. Traveling Circus makes more sense as a, as a building, yeah it is, than the Canadian border. The Canadian border makes absolutely no sense, because <clears throat> how would it earn money? The Traveling Circus would earn money in the real world, where a border, which is just a waterfall, or like a forest and a, a river, that doesn't earn money. <laughs> it's not like a shop. The Traveling Circus uh, would have, you know, people coming to watch it, so of course they would earn money. It makes more sense. Um... Minor, minor complaint, but it just annoys me when like they have a perfect, a perfect thing for a building there. The traveling circus could have been a building, and they could have added the 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 barn that he stayed in as a building as well, uh, or they could have added that as a decoration. Wouldn't have mattered too much. The wagon is the kind of throwaway, and the Virgil's the 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 best prize. Although now we've got two throwaways, which is the cremation bot and the Maple's wagon. Um, with the other event, the bully one, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't great. Uh, although I think Act Two was definitely a standout too. Uh, we did get two characters for that, but I think the animation and the crowd, of, the crowd of presidential kids, were pretty lackluster. So I think the traveling circus and Virgil Simpson kind of outweigh outweigh the two characters, in my opinion. Uh, I thought the Opal character was just a bit meh. So yeah, um, that's my opinion overall, though, uh, in terms of the um, those two acts. Uh, and kind of just ranking the acts from this event in total. Uh, I think uh, I will be doing my content list on Sunday, possibly Monday. Uh, it really depends. Uh, I'm kind of busy IRL, so uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, I wanted to get this video out. I'll try to do the content list as soon as I can. Um, and yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on Act 2 and 3, and I shall uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.